Hey, Paul. This is Rob Roth. I'm the director of Beauty and the Beast, and I'm standing in the lobby of the Oriental Theater in Chicago, where Beauty is about to begin performances here. And I'm going to take you on a little sneak peek tour backstage at our beautiful sets and costumes. Uh, let's sneak into the theater right now. Come on, let's go. This is the spinal tap part where you don't know really where you are and you're just walking around the theater. This happens all the time. Yeah, let's go on stage. They're actually uh, doing a sound check right now, but we're just gonna sneak up there, okay? Here we go, come on. We'll just be quiet. Now we're standing on the stage of the Oriental Theater. We're, we're about to do a sound check. Uh, in every city we arrive at, we do a big sound check and lighting check, and we're witnessing part of that right now. I'm gonna kind of creep you around back here uh, and show you all our cool set pieces and some uh, special effect things. Uh, so here we go. This is the interior of the Beast's castle. It's all electrified and it's all lit up internally. Um, and under the stage lights, of course, it looks so different. Um, but this all travels all around the country in trucks and we get to every city and unload it and unpack it and fly stuff up in the air and rotate stuff around. We have 60 people on the road with us uh, in Beauty and the Beast, and the 30 cast members wear 850 different costume pieces, and let's come take a look at them. They're back here. So you can see behind me, we have a giant wardrobe crew that maintains the costumes and helps the actors dress and undress and do all these quick changes backstage, and everything is sitting in road cases here uh, with the actor's name and character name on it, and their costumes for the whole show. It's like a little traveling wardrobe case. I wish I had one. Here's Belle's finale gown. This is one of my favorite costumes in the show. I think it's girls all over the world wear copies of this dress. <clears throat> um, it's the, her big yellow gown, and it has a pink chiffon covering over it, but under the stage lights, uh, it's very sheer and just kind of shimmers pink. And I, uh, you'll notice all the hand-done embroidery. Uh, it's a really beautiful piece of craftsmanship. Belle's famous yellow ball gown. As all of you who know the story of Beauty and the Beast know, there's enchanted objects in the story, and one of them is Cogsworth the clock. And here's his costume. Oh. So the trick really was to give him a structure, like a walnut clock, but let the actor have movement ability, and Anhold Ward, our costume designer, did a beautiful job at that. And the costumes are just so beautiful and ornate and detailed. Uh, and really kind of magical when you put them up under stage light. But it's nice to be able to see them up close and secret like this. Nobody ever gets to see this stuff. Would you look good in this, Paul? I think you would. Now we're gonna go to the wig room. Uh, there's over 80 wigs on the show. They're hand-maintained every day, which is a giant job. We have a wig crew. And come on, let's go take a look at them. The sign says, go that way, because it's Spinal Tap, I'm telling you, down here. No. Hi, how are you? We're, we're filming something. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, uh, this way. Hi. 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 <laughs> That's someone eating a sandwich. <laughs> oh, shoot her, huh? <laughs> Hi. Nice to see you. What's the sandwich? Oh, can I have some? Yeah, get in there. Mm. Mm. Yum. Cast, very nice. Gives the director food. Always good. <laughs> You know, the Spinal Tap thing, it's really true. I have been lost in these theaters where, and there's doors and you're locked in and you're in this little space and it's horrible. If you're claustrophobic, it's scary. Wigs, wardrobe, green room, here we go. Uh, this is where we store the wigs to travel. Um, each wig comes on its own little wig head with the actor's name on it and their character they're playing. Here's Cogsworth's headpiece. You know, he's the clock. Oh, it's so, I didn't even know this. It's so lightweight, my gosh. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> oh, I've never done this. I have no idea what this is, which character this is. Do you? Lumiere. Oh, it's Lumiere, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, they're all made out of not real hair, um, but the false hair is so great now that you can style it and wash it like you would uh, real hair. This is, I bet the, oh, this is Belle. This is Belle's short hair wig. You know, I don't know that we're supposed to really show this. Like, well, we're showing it to you anyway. 
Well, this has been fun. Uh, thanks for coming on a little backstage tour with me. Uh, now that you've seen a little peek behind the scenes, I hope you'll all come down to see the show itself. It's great for the whole family, and it has beautiful music and wonderful dancing and a lot of spectacle, too. And it's here at the beautiful Oriental Theater in downtown Chicago. Thanks very much. Bye, Paul.